Game in the balance, heading into day four at Hove. It was an even second day at Hove between Sussex and Gloucestershire, the home side leading by 13 runs as they continued their second innings on day three. The score, 51 for two. Van Zyl and Finch were in at the crease, first for Sussex, and they started the morning well, totting up runs. But it was Van Zyl who was first to go. He fell just six runs shy of his half-century as Worrell took the wicket. Wright then met his fate in the very next over, Higgins picking up his second of the innings, removing the batsman LBW. With Brown and Finch in at the crease, the score began to increase. But Brown was the next man to fall, bowled by Taylor for 16. Burgess contributed emphatically as he came in. He added a flurry of fours before just two overs later, he was caught behind once again Taylor the bowler. Lunch followed shortly afterwards. The score at the break, 154 for six. Sussex leading by 116 with just four wickets left in their second innings. But Robinson was quickly removed in the second session, courtesy of Higgins. The LBW decision seeing the batsman out for 10. Visa contributed well upon arrival, finding the boundary. Finch was the next man out, Worrell getting his man for 48. New man Briggs didn't contribute much to the scoreboard. He added just one run before Worrell picked up his third wicket of the innings. Sharma, along with Visa, kept the runs ticking over for the final wicket stand, but it didn't last too long. Sharma, the last man out, Worrell pinning him LBW as Sussex concluded their innings on 204 all out. So, at the end of the innings, fairly even with positives for both teams. Finch and Van Zyl batting well for the home side. The pick of the bowlers, Worrell, with figures of 4 for 45. 167 runs needed for Gloucestershire to win, with Howell and Dent returning to the crease for the visitors. They both found the ropes early on, but the first wicket fell in the ninth over. Dent out, courtesy of Robinson. Roderick was next in and the second wicket pair managed to reach T without any further loss. 34 for 1 the score, Gloucestershire still requiring 133 for victory. Howell continued to find the boundary in the evening session and it took a while before the second wicket fell. Roderick the man to go following a Van Zyl delivery. And with his very next ball, Van Zyl removed Bracey for a golden duck. Danger man Howell fell just short of his half century. Robinson, the man to remove him, LBW, and the capitulation continued for Gloucestershire. Taylor sent packing for one in the following over. Van Zyl, once again the bowler, at this stage his figures three for four. Higgins and Van Buren offered some resistance for Gloucestershire, and it was a while before the sixth wicket fell, but Van Buren was eventually out, LBW to Briggs, on his way for just nine. The visiting side concluded the day on 108 for 6 when stumps were called. It means that Gloucestershire still require another 59 runs with just four second innings wickets remaining.